Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today's video is a request from Julie, who wanted uh, sort of a bit of like a show and tell of my favorite packages. Because I know that when you're buying packaging, you know, your bottles and your tins and tubs and whatnot to put your projects in, it can be really sort of difficult to know exactly what you need and what you're getting. So if you're not familiar with sort of what a two ounce tin looks like or what a four ounce bottle looks like, it can be really overwhelming. And then there's just so, so, so many options. So. Today, I'm just gonna quickly show you the stuff that I use the most right now. I'm not covering specialty stuff like, you know, tins for pressing eyeshadow into or lip gloss tubes or anything like that. These are just sort of your really basic stuff that you'll use all the time. So we're looking at bottles, we're looking at tubs, we're looking at tins and lip balm tubes, and that's pretty much it. It's a really useful stuff, the stuff that you'll use pretty much all the time. So we'll talk about sizes, you know, what sizes you'll need, what the sizes look like in my hand. That's also a, a useful thing. And yeah, where to get things and yeah, I hope this is helpful. So let's get started. So I figured we'd start with the things that I tend to use the most, which is bottles. Um, these are all from Voyager Soap and Candle in British Columbia here in Canada. And I love how they all come with, you know, they come in a ton of different sizes as you can see. And I think there's even a size up from this and there might even be a size down from this. Um, and then they come with a ton of different lids. So I kind of find that I am most partial, I often most end up seeming to use the, the disky flip tops. But this one's also neat for things like massage oil where you're uh, dispensing sort of lower viscosity concoctions and then they come with pump tops too and so this is just sort of a small selection of the different lids that you can get for these bottles from Voyager which is great but my favorite thing about these is that they are squeezy um so I just I just love squeezy things I guess um <laughs> I find the size that I use most often of these bottles is the four ounce or 120 milliliter size because this is great for sort of a single batch of lotion or hair conditioner or something to that effect but I also really like the two ounce and the one ounce for traveling with. Um, these little things are great. They are absolutely brilliant to have around for DIYing, but also for, yeah, decanting uh, any, you know, sort of shop-bought beauty products that you have for traveling with now that uh, carry-on regulations are sort of increasingly stringent. And uh, when you buy bottles like this at the store for traveling with, they're usually disgustingly overpriced. So it's nice to have sort of a wide array of these. So I absolutely adore these and highly recommend them. When it comes to jars, these are my favorites. So these are from Yellow Bee. And so this is 100 mil and this is a 50 mil size and they also have a 250 mil size and maybe even a larger one. And they come in black and white. They've got great screw top lids. They're really sturdy. They're quite aesthetically pleasing. Uh, you may find that uh, they look familiar. Um, <laughs> so I really, really like these and I end up using these just all the time. Um, and they also clean out really, really well in the dishwasher. So I really, really like these. And one of my favorite things about them is how they are in metric sizes, 100 mils and 50 mils, which is so nice because I develop in metric sizes. And so I'm usually putting a 100 gram batch of lotion in a 120 milliliter jar. And so there's always some headspace, but in here it fits really, really nicely. And then I have these glass jars. These are from Voyager as well. So this I believe is a 100 mil and this is a 25. This one's so cute. Um, <laughs> so I really like both of these. They're like, they look quite slick. I know they come with a couple different options for lids. I believe there are some ribbed ones and you can get them in maybe white as well as black. And then these ones are, um, they're specific to New Directions Aromatics. And I actually just tried to find them on their website and I couldn't find them, but I found a picture of them on their homepage. So I'm hoping that, you know, that they still exist. Um, so they come with a little cap liner there. And so little, just little frosted jars I really like and they come with a variety of different lids or a, a, they're available with a variety of different lids um, I know they have these in uh, cobalt blue right now it's just a frosted glass I didn't see but they're completely um, unique to New Directions there's actually NDA etched right on the bottom so that's the only place you can get those and it looks like the minimum order size is a dozen but they are great I really really like them they're nice and sturdy I've got an empty one here and you can really see how thick that glass is and I'm just an absolute sucker for frosted glass <laughs> so as far as jars go these are the ones that I really really like um, for most of my uses I thought we'd wrap up with a bit of 
sort of miscellany. Um, <laughs> for lip balm tubes, I typically buy them from New Directions 100 at a time, but I know that's a lot. I've also been really happy with the lip balm tubes from Yellow Bee and Windy Point. With lip balm tubes, you should be paying sort of 20 cents a unit or less, um, though sometimes you do need to buy a lot to pay that little, so it may not be worth it to you. But uh, I've definitely found places that sell lip balm tubes for a dollar a piece. I don't pay a dollar a piece for a lip balm tube unless you're watching this video in like the year 3000 and inflation has really kicked in. Um, <laughs> I get a lot of compliments on these spray bottles and they finally have been reintroduced. Again, these are like the other frosted glass. This is like a, a New Directions aromatic special. And so these are their Zello frosted glass bottles and you can get a variety of different Mr. Heads for them uh, and these they come in a couple different colors of glass too. They have it looks like clear cobalt blue frosted and green So I really like these I just oh, just so elegant feels really lovely in the hand obviously not shatterproof So not great for showers and things But I absolutely adore them for sort of room sprays and hair mists and things and the bottles come in a couple different sizes I know the 50 milliliter and the 100 milliliter are sort of my favorites for foamer bottles, this is one from Yellow Bee that I really like sort of the ergonomics of. It's a 250 uh, milliliter one. I've tried some foamer bottle ones that are just sort of like long, narrow tubes that I really don't like because you have to sort of hold it with one hand to pump it, otherwise it falls over. It's like a more like a can of bear spray than <laughs> uh, something that you can kind of wash your hands with. So I really like these, it's nice and stable, <laughs> works well, does good foaming. And then when it comes to tins, I'm partial to sort of this type of tin here uh, where it's just a, a pull off lid and I like the just a little indent here. Um, I've tried some screw ones and I find I'm not a huge fan of the screw top lids. Kind of depends on the, the product or the maker, but general, generally speaking, I really like these and I usually have them around in a ton of sizes. So this is a two ounce and this is a one ounce, uh, a half ounce or even a quarter ounce is quite good for lip balm. I find two ounces is really good for like skin balms and salves and one ounce can be too. The one in here is actually a beard balm. Um, so I really, really like these as well and tend to use these quite a lot. I find they stand up pretty darn well to being, <laughs> being beaten up. They're a reasonably thick, metal. Now the supplier that I was getting these from uh, doesn't have them anymore so I am linking to a sort of an alternative supplier for them, Windy Point, but I haven't actually tried the ones from Windy Point yet. Uh, Windy Point is generally awesome so I have faith that they will be awesome but just sort of disclaimer they're not exactly these ones. Um, but generally speaking yeah this sort of step for tin is what I like and the sizes are great.